Hi, my name's Jeff Ecker. If you're watching this video, you probably have pain at the base of your thumb and somebody's told you that you have basal thumb arthritis, carpal metacarpal joint arthritis, or trapezium metacarpal joint arthritis. They're all big terms for the same thing, which is arthritis at the base of the thumb. Now, arthritis simply means that the joint is no longer smooth and working properly. It's rough, it's irregular, and it may have partially slipped out of place. This arthritis at the base of the thumb is very common, particularly in middle age. This joint's important for the thumb. The IP joint flexes and extends. The metacarpophalangeal joint flexes and extends. But to get your thumb around in space in relation to your hand and to separate it from the index finger, you need the basal thumb joint. Now, if you've got arthritis here, it will be swollen and it will be painful. You won't be able to open your thumb index finger space up so you can grip objects. You won't be able to undo jars. You won't be able to do physical work. And it can hurt at night and it can keep you awake. So it's really important that the diagnosis is accurate because many things can cause pain in this area of your wrist. And sometimes people with really bad arthritis at this joint are pain free. So what happens if you have basal thumb arthritis? Well the first thing is you can do nothing. Many of these will settle down and not hurt. Or you'll adapt and restrict your activities so they don't hurt. If we look at what's published on this condition, if you wait three years, 70% of people will not require treatment or surgery. What can you do to improve your symptoms while you're waiting for them to get better? The first thing is you can do exercises and you can compress the index finger this way to tighten the muscles in this part of your hand and they can help stabilize the base of your thumb. The next thing you can do is wear a light thermoplastic splint which you can take on and off when you do heavy lifting and laboring tasks. You can also inject the joint. We can place a little needle into the joint using an ultrasound to make sure it's in the right place and put in steroid. And now people are experimenting with fat and stem cells. So what happens if you've got pain that you can't adapt to and you can't manage, or it's still there at three years? Well, most places in the world will take out the trapezium which is the bone at the base of the thumb. It involves a cut at the base of the thumb, removing the bone and using a tendon. And there are different places where you can get this tendon. A tendon's a little cord that joins the muscle to a bone that we can use the expendable. It's not going to cause you any major problems to create a little suspension mechanism to stabilize the base of the metacarpal when you take out the entire trapezium. Now I did this operation for a long time, but I don't do it anymore because we had too many complications. Tendons would rupture, we'd have joint problems, and it was weak. So what do I do now? All I do is cut out one side of the joint. I take out four millimeters of bone from the trapezium. First step is to suspend the thumb in a traction tower and make three small holes at the base of the thumb. Then insert an arthroscope, a 1.9 millimeter arthroscope into the joint, put a shaver into the joint, clean it out so I can see the entire joint. There's nothing obscuring the vision. Then insert a burr and remove the bone under direct vision. There is far less pain after this operation, much less swelling, and the outcomes are better. It produces a stronger thumb. There's also only three small little holes to insert instruments through rather than a large incision, so there's rarely, if ever, any scars. In addition to that, it's extensile. If we have a problem, all the other options are still available to us. So as with all things, there are different opinions and different ways to treat conditions. My preference is arthroscopic surgery to remove part of the joint at the base of the thumb. 
And I would like to conclude by saying that there is no perfect operation for this arthritis. If the diagnosis is accurate, if you're having severe pain and you can't manage, then there's a very high probability you're going to be delighted with the outcome. But there's always a small risk that you're going to have complications. So you need to think wisely and choose wisely for yourself. I look forward to seeing you and helping you work out what is best for your thumb arthritis. Thank you.